Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back for some more EVE Online and with a very bad week last week in exploration I changed my rattlesnake a little bit. That one got a 5% buff to its heavy missile damage and so I decided to change the fit a little bit and see if we can do some decently efficient solo conduit chaining with this setup. So uh, a lot of people were telling me that yeah that Nosferatu uh, not very useful against rats of course so I switched that one up with a self the idea is to salvage while we are in combat and uh, another thing that I changed is more damage the uh, previous version of the rattlesnake was definitely over tanked it had a full set of the uh, recharging shield power relays in the low slot so I, I switched two out of those out one for drone damage and one for more missile damage let's take a look at the result and let's see if we can basically micromanage this pretty well um, I am not going to warp right on top of the start I personally think that this gives me a, a little bit more breathing room when it comes to the reload time uh, on the final wave and also it is a little bit better for my drones because I can afford to wait just a little bit see who comes into range first we don't have anything that's gonna play with my range so let's launch some um, missiles at the first starving Rasnaborg once he's in web range that's when I'll drop my drones and now we are going to add that drone damage and of course it's going to be a lot more active normally i would just switch to whatever is in range next and let that be all uh, at this point we are going to switch and then we are going to look for the wreck that we want to salvage of course this one is getting in range so that is good let's press a four on that and we can take care of the first destroyer at this point let's open fire oh that's pretty good damage oh and we have another wreck to target of course and then we get the final rasnaborg right here uh the kikimora excuse me so that is a very easy a tiny first wave but we're also going to target the next wreck then and he's blown up that one is gone so we have the next wave what do i do i uh, grab the most likely early targets that one seems to be coming in pretty hot and that one as well and in the meantime we are salvaging and we're keeping our drones off the field to make sure that they do not get targeted shield damage is still pretty minimal you can clearly see that this one wants to get in range so we're gonna fire our missiles we just salvage a wreck we're gonna go like that add in the um the web and then i think we're good full e war is out uh at this point and so i think we'll keep the aggro on us not a wreck done so we're gonna target the four that one is done we're gonna grab something else one two three firing missiles and we are gonna get into a reload after this one and still have a decent amount of them it really depends on how quickly well maybe i'll start going for one of these rick come on take that one down quickly good one two press f and now we are reloading luckily we can be salvaging at this point let's look for another wreck there it is so it's a lot more micromanagement but with a bit of luck at the end of this we've got just a couple wrecks to go and then we'll be right on time for the next um for the next conduit to spawn also something you do want to be careful uh, about is of course and we gotta go here for a four um, is to not blow the wrecks up accidentally by pressing your weapon systems when you target those so if on you one two and three that one is good to go four of these guys that should be possible let's target this one let's target this one we're still salvaging so it's all good and they do die quite a bit more quickly of course it's the damage mods but potentially it's also and uh, let's press a four on this one um it's also the buff of course i can't believe that ccp decided to buff the heavy missiles which for the rattlesnake for this solo conduit runner is absolutely perfect of course it was already pretty much the best chip to run this in unless you risk the smart bombs but honestly in high sec that is a little bit risky for my personal taste and we'll go like that grab the next and uh, for the last one what i do do uh, quite often is start a reload here and i will do a one and we'll do a two they'll go after that final ghosting i have to salvage more stuff we've got four of them at this point i think that'll be fine 
and so now yeah this reloads already have uh done so this one should blow up by the time this is ready and we're ready for the final wave where we still want to take that cruiser down as quickly as possible you'll see at this point 80 percent shields left that's not a problem but uh, on the next wave of course potentially it's a lot more damage uh, i'm sure we'll be fine but i kind of want to be sure that uh, we'll make it so we are going to leave the drones on the field as well we're going to target some of the big guys and well it doesn't actually you can target the big guys first here without too much trouble and then uh, you need to be within 60 kilometers before you can send your drones so just have a little bit of patience there we go 59 drones are engaging Zorias Vitmac you can add the target painter as well in the meantime the salvaging continues and you want the right mix of course of targets so here I'm gonna add another wreck now it should be within missile range as well and this one is coming into range for my web pretty soon Let's start salvaging here first. Oh, and they're going after my drones. God damn it. Should have seen it. That uh, That's actually really bad news because <laughs> uh, they'll be whipped as well. Let's see if they can make it. Oh, damn. Damn, that's, that's a mistake. Uh, a, a really, actually a pretty big mistake on my part that uh, I went after. Yeah, there it goes. I think... Yeah, lost one. All right, we still have our large drone, so that should be fine. Uh, I should not have left him on the field. Okay, lesson learned. Let's see if my Berserker 2s can do the job here as well. And of course, this... I mean, I was doing so well, but this does cost a little bit of time for me. Um, so let's salvage another wreck. Let's target another target. Of course, the DPS that's incoming is a lot lower, so we're pretty easily tanking all of this. One, two, three... Let's go, open fire, take care of the next one. And then I'll need another wreck, which is going to be in this wreck, of course. What if? One, two, three. That one's done. We get Zorias Vidmak almost in range. Any other wrecks? Man, I'm doing really well on the wreck time here. So that one is next. And that one will be going down, no problem. Next target. And we are in a reload. So let's go after the next destroyer. Drones engaged, whipped and painted. That should still be good, but yeah, less tracking than the previous ones, but should be more damage. Here's the shields in just two shots. In the meantime, I am going to do this again. And then uh, we'll target one of these and one of these. Keep bringing the loot. You can see my shield 70%. We're doing really well on that front. Let's go like that. Let's add the missiles. Yeah, quite uh, a bit worse actually with just the drones on that destroyer. So I'll need to buy another faction drone at this point. That's going. Where's my next wreck? Here it is. Like that, that's good. Another wreck to salvage, another blows up. One, two, three. So four more targets and another wreck right here. Yeah, it's quite a bit more micromanagement, but uh, at this point, it feels like it's quite doable. That one's down. You are next. Press F. One, two, three. Here we go. So good, really good hits with the missiles. And then if the drones do get their application going, which on a whipped and painted target they can do, uh, then it feels pretty nice. We get another rig to target right here. And this is what I love, of course. We're getting to the final target and the number of wrecks on the field is next to nothing. My shields are doing absolutely fine. If you really want to play it safe, then uh, for the final target, you can basically only use the drones. At this point, we're basically so good that uh, we are going to use the missiles as well. Because we'll have just two wrecks. Three wrecks, actually, of course, the final one as well to do at this point. There we go. The conduit should disappear at this point or, yep, 2,400 meters. Press salvage. Press 4. Reload. That one's gone. And then press F on the other wreck. And we have one more to target. In the meantime, we're going to grab our loot. 20 million? That's not bad. What's this? Armor wrap, ooh, metaplasmid, very, very nice, okay. The cost of a drone, I guess we'll take it. Final wreck to take. 
Here we go. Come on guys, bring in that loot. And we are ready, fully loaded. Everything is back in town and look at that, we're still waiting for that respawn. Now we're at half, um, we are at half uh, capacitor. So if you wanna play it safe, which honestly uh, is probably not a bad idea, you can warp to a station or to, uh, here is a CVA Astra Hoose. So we'll head there, replenish our capacitor and then we'll, we should be fine. At that point there's the new emerging conduit so with just a little bit of patience and maybe slightly better cap i'm not sure how we would do that uh, you could really chain them otherwise we are going to go like that and it's about 10 minutes of course not super optimal uh, when it comes to just running it for loyalty points and the 4.5 million isk but including the loot and the salvage i think that that's a pretty amazing time just need a little bit more patience when it comes to um when it comes to those drones, of course. I made a big mistake and it just cost me a faction berserker. So for the next one, I'm gonna chain one more here. Just try and do that again. And this time we'll try to use max damage drones as well. Hopefully they can basically save us a couple shots. Let's see how they do. So we're gonna use the Ogre twos on the next one. We're back, full capacitor, full shields. Everything is ready to go. And uh, let's head for the next. Sasha Conduit, the Rattlesnake, super, super strong PvE ship. Uh, you can see that you can get a crazy tank on this. I mean, you can you can make it so that it never goes below like 60% or so, even if you have the worst of the worst when it comes to the spawns in these uh, emerging conduits. You can trade that up, uh, that down basically, less tank, but for more damage, which is what this one has actually. And then still has those utility high slots. Um, it is just an incredible PvE platform. So to me personally, a very big surprise that uh, CCP decided to uh, buff the heavy missile damage by 5%. That is super, super welcome, of course. It just makes this platform even better at these conduits. So here we go. We're gonna go on the next one. Yeah, I'm not gonna warp on the exit again. I do feel like... Um, it is slightly better for at least the way I'm doing them here. If I want to include uh, the salvaging and the looting in my conduit chaining, uh, then, uh, then we are actually going to be patient enough, make sure that they come at me, launch the drones after a couple of missile volleys and uh, take that time which, which you do have uh, between them spawning and them being on top of you and in range for your drones and your missiles to basically have a reload as well on the right timer. So this one starts uh, with a little bit more. We get five on the first wave. So we're gonna go straight in there, target everything. Um, I could definitely uh, use the target painter very early. That just means that normally they'll see me as a bigger threat right off the bat and then you do have to be a little careful here down to 28 kilometers so uh, activate your missiles at the right time and then once they get into web range i lo i do webs i launch my drones and this time we're gonna try with the ogre twos let's see what kind of hits and misses we get that yeah i do feel like that was a, a higher damage number for sure then we're gonna go one, two, three again, target a wreck, and let's start that chaining process that includes the looting. Um, super efficient in my opinion, so pretty damn good. Next one, that was actually really not bad. Um, these ogres did really well for that damage. Uh, that wreck is gone, so we need the next one. Okay, one, two, three. Press 4 on the wreck. Next wreck should be up. Let's target that. Let's see how they do against the ghosting here. That is actually really not that bad. 1, 2, 3. I think here I can... Um, I'm not sure. Maybe I should have reloaded right now to have better missile... But let's, let's actually do this one now. So we're going to return these. We are actually going to do a reload while they come. Oh, very lucky on this spawn. Only five small ones. So now they're back in. And then here you can see right now we're not taking any damage. We can, we can basically, if I were to focus a little bit better, focus on our wrecks. 
and uh, you, you still have some time. Half the reload is done, they're still at 30 kilometers. So this is actually not that bad a situation. By the time they're right on top of me, we'll be able to whip, paint and use our missiles. Full E-War is on us, which is quite okay as well. And we'll start with the ghosting, I think. One, two, three, two. Oh, he's not in range yet. Interesting. We'll Actually, I want to web him as well, because that's much better for the drones. And then L thermal. I'll use the Ogre 2s. Press F. They're the highest damage drones. So uh, this could be interesting. Yep, blah, he's gone. That's actually not bad. All right, renewing is next. One, two, three. Drones are on him. We get that wreck. We salvage that wreck. Oh, this one. Uh, no, it is getting tractored. All right, here we go. Number four. And in the meantime, next one is down. One, two, three. Add that. Grab the next trick. Jesus, this is good. This feels really good. Just have to make sure that I don't do the same mistake uh, for the final wave. So here we're going to do a one, two, three on this one. Target another wreck. Uh, but then the last one I am going to use for a... Well, we're going to try. Yeah, use it for a reload. Uh, start your salvaging process and see how the ogres apply on that one. Like that. Reload. Uh, that's going to be interesting, actually. So the shields are gone. That's not a problem. I can do a four for the salvage. Ooh, jeez, that's not bad. Armor gone. 434, 450, and blap, it's just annihilated. Very, very nice, actually. All right, cruiser and the destroyers, I think, are going to be my priority at this point. Get a couple ricks, so that's good. Get another rick up here. Target painting on you. Missiles are almost ready. In the meantime, we're salvaging, and we're going to grab you as well. Like that. Good, good, good. This is <laughs> this is a lot more clicking and a lot more paying attention. Uh, but uh, it's pretty nice. Uh, you can be toot. That's not a problem. Missiles are out. So we're going to add the ogres. And let's take of care of that Vidmac. Press F. Here we go. Wreck is done. I got another one. And so this is the real challenge, of course. Um... Get rid of the Vedmac. Here you can see it will be tested, right? 61% and we do take quite a bit of damage, but so is the Vedmac. So that's pretty decent at this point. But we are, for the first time, I think, in this Rattlesnake, gonna get to 50% damage. Still, that is not bad. That one is gone. Let's add a 1 and a 3 here. And then I need the wreck. Where is the wreck? All the way back here. Come on, drones. Get in and help me. Yeah, at 50%. So we do definitely want to take care of these destroyers next. Let's go. Drones. One, two, three. That's nice. And in the meantime, we can start salvaging. Let's add a small one after that. And that's really, really surprisingly good application, to be honest, uh, on these destroyers. In my personal opinion. Look at that. They just get melted. One, two, three. And we get a four for that wreck. We get another wreck to take care of. This is... Uh, this feels really, really nice and efficient. Now, here, we gotta be honest, right? The shield does get tested. So just those two low slots do make a pretty big difference. The ramp up is significant. But you basically buy yourself a little bit of time... Uh, as well and uh, the the targets once the, the cruiser is down you can melt the rest of them pretty effectively so these guys will be down get another wreck to take care of right here so let's target that as well and these ogre twos look at that armor gone and next shot so close another miss unfortunately but all right that one is down in the meantime We'll be regening, so that'll be fine. Missiles are back as well. So we get some more wrecks. Two targets and the salvaging. In the meantime, I kind of like that. <laughs> That's not bad. Now, on the hardest wave, well, this was actually a lot of destroyers. So this must have been close to that hardest wave. Yeah, our shield gets tested. 
towards that 33%, but that's also where you get the max regen. So uh, I feel like we were holding quite well there. Double explosion. Well, not really. It's one wreck and one rat. So we go for the next one. And then we target this one. And yeah, 10 minutes a piece, uh, apparently. Something like that. So that's the final rat. He is down. And we can go return to drone bay. Do a reload. Launch the salvage drones. And I'll just press F to help. Make sure that they're all busy. That, that, that. And there's one more wreck, I think, from the last one that we destroyed that I'll need to target. Yeah, there it is. It's already being targeted by some of my drones. Lucky me. Let's grab that loot. Another seven. Jeez, that's not bad. Another 17 million. Scoop to cargo bay. And we can use a four on that one. Those that are idle like this. And look at that. The conduit is gone and I am salvaging the very final wrecks that are available. Um, they'll be done pretty quickly. And okay, this time 75% capacitor, 68% shields. I mean, I think that... Uh, oops, let's add a 4 here. Let's press F so that all of them can help for the final wreck. And then as this one will get salvaged... I think the next one will pop up. So here I feel pretty comfortable. I think we could chain the next one. There it is. So just a little bit of bad luck here that we can't go straight into the next Sancher Conduit. But you can clearly see that this chaining uh, works quite well. And I'm pretty happy with this. 10 minutes including all the loot and all the salvage while being pretty safe. I feel like that is a pretty good result for doing these conduits solo. That's going to be it for this video. I'm actually heading back to Detail of course because I need to buy myself a new Republic Fleet Berserker. Or maybe I have one in reserve. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. That's something I'm going to do uh, if my exploration doesn't work out too well. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, I'll see you next time. Goddamn stinger not working correctly. Ah.